Good evening and welcome to the Kazabuska Rink in Saugus, Massachusetts for this tape delayed quote unquote live stream. Thanks to Thanks to two Wi-Fi networks in this building. One works in the back of the arena in the lobby. Well, like the front I guess. Um and the other Wi-Fi network is here in the back. Five bars but they don't have the password for it. How does the rink not have the password for both Wi-Fi networks? And then, of course, pull up my phone, and there's absolutely no signal whatsoever. So you're watching in the future. Um, uh, on behalf of DT Hockey, I do apologize for the inconvenience this may cause. Anyway, first game of the year, we actually got trapped in the North Running fan section thanks to some bad advice by a member of our coaching staff, who shall remain nameless. It's going to be an interesting season for DT, though, as you look over on the ice. Got a slightly larger team than last year. Of course, could only dress 22 in the games, so end result of that is doesn't look any bigger, but they have 25 guys in the roster this year, eight newcomers. Um, so we had four graduates last year, and we lost four to transfers. Um, so eight, eight new players this year. Um, seven players promoted from JV, and then Matt Lesniak, number 11, is the new is the newcomer to the program. He played for Lowell High last year, scored six goals, nine assists with Lowell High School last season. As far as the returnees go, Mikey Damaris. Hey Tom. Mikey Damaris is out on IR. Other than that, the main core returns from last year. Tommy Workman is the captain. Um, up front, you also have Drew Duras, Colin Underwood among others. Nate Freelove is the top scorer on defense coming back. Then you have three senior defensemen serving as assistant captains, Jacob McDougall, Coley Forsell, and Joey Wilkie. As far as North Reading goes, I don't know that much about the Hornets, um, at least for this year. Last year, they were the 10th ranked team in Division Three, So higher ranked than us, they finished 14-4 and two, we finished 14-6 and 0. Both teams lost in round of 16. DT lost to Hanover and North Reading lost to Neshoba Regional. Got about a minute here, not even until the starting lineups and National Anthem. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Again, we do apologize for the, all of this. No signal whatsoever here. Very low bleachers. This is about as much nightmare fuel as I could get for the first broadcast of my eighth season with DT Hockey. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Kazabuski Arena, home ice of the North Reading Hornets. Home ice of no cell signal. Please welcome our away team, the Draket Tingsboro Middies. Starting for Draket Tingsboro, number four, center, Thomas Workman. Number 14, right wing, Jack Michaud. Left wing, number 19, Colin Underwood. Number 
Defense, number six, Jacob McDougall. Defense, number 17, Nathan Freelove. And in goal, number 31, Connor Cole. And now the starting lineup for our North Reading Hornets. Starting at center, number 16, Matthew Young. Since they played a version with Rene Rancourt, cool time to note, I actually met him back when I was 11. Um, was on the event level of the TD Garden, we got a contact within the Bruins organization. Works, actually, he's employed by the NHL. But he represents the Bruins for security. Uh, high level security exec, so I have been in cool parts of the TD Garden before, and my first ever Bruins game when I was 11, the year they won the Stanley Cup, after the band, after they won, the season after. Um, I met Reddy Rancourt and got and tried on his, his cup ring from 2011, so that was really cool. Anyway, we're going to have a hockey game here for the first time in nine months. Not counting the two scrimmages, of the, which the one I missed last week, last weekend, not last Saturday because I was in New York City. Then Sunday we were in Rockport, in Gloucester against Rockport. I was there for that one. And there was also one on Wednesday night against the show Tech, Greater Lowell, but that was canceled due to a sewage issue with the Thompson Forum. Okay, Workman takes it out for DT. Against Matthew Young from the Hornets. It is tied up. And it is advanced further by Underwood. Try and chip it out there was Galino. Sent around to the front. Cupped in there by Freelover's shot and a quick save there by Cooper. 
Hornets try to clear it out. A check by Underwood. Puck is forced out. Workman retrieves it at center. A drop back, then pass forward to Mishad. Hornets force it out. Getting it now for DT is Nate Freelove. Lofts it in through the equipment of Mishad. Cut off by the Hornets. Sent out by Pastore. And a turnover sent in by Underwood down behind Cooper. They're going to get it now, Pastore. He's hit by Lesniak. Duras keeps it alive. Ben Cardillo in the neutral zone now. Drop back to the blue line, Wilkie. D to D to Forstel. Colby Forstel back over to Joy Wilkie. They're deep in own zone now. Forstel goes down, taken by, by the Hornets on net for Cole, gets the whistle. Tyler Morello goes one to send it towards him. Face off is going to be Matt Lesniak with DT. Can't see who's taking it for the Hornets, but DT has it. Bring it up now. It's Cardillo. Drop back to Duras. A shot and a save by Cooper. It's loose and he gets a whistle. 140 on first period. All right, Leslie and I take it now for DT. Opposite Young of the Hornets, to the left to Cooper. Cooper, not Cooper, Young wins it, excuse me. Now trying to bring it out is Duncan Galino. Cut off at the red line by Joy Wilkie. Two new family relations on DT this year. Got Joey and Charlie Wilkie, brothers. Joy number three, the senior defenseman. And Charlie number 12, freshman forward. And then Drew Duras, sophomore, forward number 18, and Ben Cardillo, freshman forward number seven, are cousins. Hornets bring it away, a shot and a save by Cole. Matt Young set it on goal there. Loop behind the net. Wilkie trying to chip it out, and they're gonna call a penalty there. It's gonna be a slash. I think it's gonna be on DT. Colby Forrest still going off for a slash at 2.04. So North Reading will get the first power play of this game. But if this Hornet mascot gets it our way, I will. So, oh, and what's the call on Wilkie? I missed that. I was. One, two, three. Okay. Two, they're going to be five on three for the Hornets. So it must have been a minor penalty on Wilkie. Don't know what the call is. Hopefully they'll announce it. But early challenge for DT. Okay, it's going to be Workman taking the draw for DT. It's going to be the left of Connor Cole. Uh, I don't know what the situation is here. Five minute major on Joy Wilkie. Okay. I did not see what happened there. Um, I'd be interested, interested, interested to see what the signal is. Oh, two? Okay. Okay. What's going on here? Some, some, ex some explanation would be a little bit useful here. He's operating a Nevco system. Nevco systems are notoriously complicated to use um, for a first timer. But I am actually very experienced with that Nevco because it's used at the Cell My Center. And DT played at the Ice Center for three years. And I also do Central Catholics home games, or some of them. So I was just at the Ice Center on Wednesday doing a, a scrimmage for Central. Does he need help? I'm going to go try and help him.
we have some clarity. It is two minutes each. He put in five and could not figure out how to fix it. Um, Because it's running, I'm not going to try and delete it for him. But Joey will get a call for unsportsmanlike conduct. Um, So it is two minutes each for Forstall and Wilkie. It is not five minutes on Wilkie. It's unsportsmanlike Wilkie, two minutes. Slashing on Forstall, two minutes. Now that we're back in action here, it is cut out by DT. Matt Lesniak was responsible party for that clear. Hornets right off in their own zone. It's going to be Duncan Galino over the blue. Tapped over the red by Luke Baker. But it fucked it over to Christos Panagakis who cleared it out. Max Forstall of the Hornets behind his own net. Played ahead. This is Luke Baker over the blue. And over the red now over the blue. To the left corner, Christian Lava. Oh. Up to the right side, a shot is blocked there by Lesniak. And cleared out and out of the box, Forstel and Wilkie. And they both got to close the door, even though the puck was going the other way. Panagakis trying to wheel it out. Hornets couldn't keep it in. Could be a chance. Call it onto it. In a loud save by Cooper. Workman caught up to him on the right side. Could have had a brief 2 on 0, but Underwood, I'd say, smartly chose to shoot this Cooper in a better save. Workman taking the draw for DT against Young of North Reading to the left of Cooper. One by Workman, and McDougal couldn't keep it in. McDougal spins, he's all the way in his own end. And neutral's are now spun down to free love. He spins into his own end, evading the pressure of Young. Now Misho gets hit along the boards. And I lost sight of the puck for a second. Um, all right. Workman to McDougal. Out of reach of Jack Michaud. But it goes down into the Hornets' end anyway. All right. Um, stand by, folks. Four still is pushed into the boards. And then Drew Ross hits the guy who hit him back. Couldn't see the number. So I was trying to help Ryan with the battery with the battery. Behind the north running net. Chance for Drew Ross and has a quick save by Cooper. Now it's Drew Ross again. Lesniak is Lesniak is being wrestled into the boards with no call from the officials. Cardillo off of the stick of Di Gregorio. Pastore chips it with the assist of Carlson. It gets out. I brought it bringing the forward was Teddy Sunny. Cut off it was Joy Wilkie. Now played ahead via somebody else. Couldn't see the number to Ben Cardillo. Cardillo comes in, shoots wide. Now Wilkie down low to Cardillo. Oh, it's still Wilkie. I thought Cardillo had it for the set for a second. Cardillo to the front, but it goes behind the net. Chipped around by Forstall. He tries to clear it out. He can't, but Luke Baker carries it out. Over the red. Cut off by Connor Daniel as it goes into the DT zone. 8-12 to go first period. Puck battle along near the blue line by the DT bench. Eight minutes to play first period. Hornets trying to bring back in. Max Forrestal behind the net. To the right side corner, Luke Baker. Cut off by DT. Trying to chip it out with Joy Wilkie, and he did. Sent right back in by North Reading.
Deethy has it now, bringing it the other way. Was Charlie Wilkie. Cut off, cut off by the Hornets. Taken back by Chase Allen. Now it's Christmas Panagakis finding Jack Feeney. Feeney dumps it in. Max Forsall for the Hornets starts off on his own net. Almost lost it. And they're going to bring it out successfully before being chipped by Christos Panagakis. Finding time working with a sneaky play there. Now Chase Allen played it ahead. He could not find Workman. Gloved down by Wilkie. And we get a hand pass. Seven minutes to play first period. And Jill, where are we at with the shots? 3-1 favoring DT. Yeah, we're gonna try and live stream, but there's no signal here whatsoever. No, no phone signal, the Wi-Fi only works in the lobby, so it's, oh well. And we got, and we get, Fracas behind the net, behind the DT net, with a crowd forming. Whoa, and some kid next to us just dropped his Skittles. Oh, poor thing. Okay, we'll sort out the penalties here if they choose to call any. Probably maybe be a both guys kind of situation. Okay, we are gonna get two guys from the Hornets, 14-16. Robert Daly and Matthew Young playing the box for DT is Jacob McDougal, and it looks like that is it. So the Hornets are going to send two guys to the box. DT's only going to send one. So, so this could be a power play for DT, depending on what they choose to call on North Reading. If it ends up being only two minutes, then it would, on all of them, then it would be a power play for DT, and that's one, two. That looks, looks like that's what it's going to be. Um, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go right ahead. You're welcome. So yeah, it looks like indeed this is going to be a power play for DT. Um, as I count, five DT players and four for North Reading. Yeah, so the extra penalty is the one on daily. I'm guessing it is two and then two on all of them. So that would, the first two would cancel out and we're going to get officials now talking to we're going to get what's the situation here? And why is Ty Workman skating to the bench? It is gonna be a five on three for the that makes that makes more sense. Okay, that makes more sense. They're gonna they're gonna enforce it as four on three. You don't see this very often at all. If there's matching penalties, usually they will cancel out, with some exceptions. Um, but in general, matching minors will cancel out. Um, I don't see this too often. I have a scorekeeping for now, I believe. My it's my fifth season doing scorekeeping. Working wins a draw. Free love left side. Back to Workman, back to Freelove. High slot, waits, passes to Lesniak, right circle. Back up to Freelove. Across to Workman, left circle. With Underwood in front. Pass to Lesniak, right side, he shoots, it's blocked there. By Vincent Pastore, kept him by Tyne Workman though. Workman goes to the slot, passes Lesniak, it went off his stick. Lesniak, right wing side, up to the point, Freelove. More Skittles fall on the ground. Freelove to Lesniak, right side. Minute 24 to go in the penalties. Freelove, right point. Cross to the left side, it's Underwood. He waits, shoots, saved by Cooper. It's gone, went in. Colin Underwood. DT leads, one nothing. a power play goal. I totally thought the goalie had it. I until I saw DT celebrating the puck ripples right in the back of the net. So that is that is going to be Underwood from Lesniak and Freelove, I believe. Remind me, 19 from 11 and 17. 
Why didn't you online to send a reminder? Come on, Sierra, you're better than that. All right, writing that down for 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 all time's sake. So now it is four on four. Five, three, seven to go in the first. DTU through the edge. It's in their zone, so in their zone though. I can't talk today. Thomas Goss to send it wide. Now DT is going to play out. This is Drew Duras getting in a pass from Chase. Uh, not, that's, Col that's Colby Forstel. Now Forstel shoots, saved by Cooper, and he gets a whistle. Left to Cooper, face off. Try well here for DT. Christian Lava for the Hornets. Ben Cardello digs it out. Cardello trying to pass across, but was cut off by North Reading. Bringing it to Christian Lava over the red, over the blue. It is Lava still. Fired wide. Kind of wrapping around, and they cough it right up to Cardello. He's going to have enough to get it out. And the Hornets knock it back in. Taken by Nate Freela, by Nelson Net. Two seconds and one. And the other guys are now out of the box. I'm going to have to give the scorekeeper less than the leading penalties after this period. Nate Freelove. Wired over, still in their own zone. There's Connor Daniel. Now it is brought further. Wilkie off of the stick of Connor Daniel. And now Ty Workman. Workman pass across. It is loose. Cardio couldn't throw it away. Now shot by Underwood and sent behind the net. Hornets clear it away for the moment. But not out. As Coley Force still kept it in very nicely. Hornets have it. They cough it up. Shot by Connor Daniel and a save by Cooper. Workman off the Hornet body up to the point. Force still fires it wide. And Galino clears it out. Panagakis off of Workman's stick. He retrieves, walks back into his own end. 3.47 to go in the first. Played one over to Forstel. And now Underwood up to Workman. But it was cut off by the Hornets and sent the other way. Where Panagakis takes it back and finds Mishad. Jack Mishad across. Couldn't find Workman. And North Reading gets it out. Played further by Luke Baker. And now a Hornet goes down in front, thanks to a hit by DT. And now can we change to DT? It's gonna be Colin Underwood looking for a second, but he is, he's wrestled there by Max Forrestal. And now the other way, it's Luke Baker. 3-10 to play in the first. I can't see what's happening down there in the corner. It's McDougal now, three minutes ago in the first. Touched off a workman stick for Lesniak, and now chipped up by Underwood. North Reading knocks it right back in. And this is gonna be icing against DT. 2.35 to play in the first. A shot off the faceoff by Matt Young, I think. Goes high. McDougal wired out. And now bring in Matt Lesniak into the attacking zone. Shipped and he's hit. And now Cardillo has it. Ben Cardillo up to the point. Nate Freelove with a shot and blocked in front. Lesniak twist, couldn't get it on goal. Now pass story wired, trying to clear it out into the equipment of McDougal. And now Duras got it from Cardillo. Couldn't get anything on that opportunity. McDougal over to Lesniak. Now up to the high slot. Freelove tries to deke. 
misplayed. Partial breakaway here for Christian Lava. Gets past three love shoots, and he missed the net. Now in front, cut off by DT, and now Drew Duras almost in a partial break. But Max Forstall was too far to allow, to allow that. They try to cut it out, cut off by Jack Feeney. Shoot, saved by Cooper. 126 to play. To the left of Cooper. Face off between Charlie Wilkie and that 17, Teddy Sonny. Sonny wins the draw. Hornets turn over. Connor Daniel pokes it in. Taken back by Thomas Gazda. He coughs it up to Chase Allen in the neutral zone. Allen over the red. Sends it in over the blue. 104 to go in the first period. Off of Feeney's equipment. Rolling on the dasher behind the net. Off of Wilkie's equipment. It's kept in by, I believe that was Connor Daniel. Now the Hornets gonna clear it out 48 seconds ago. Wilkie. Off of Feeney's stick and further. Max Forrestal wires off the glass. Couldn't get it out though. Jack Misha kept it in. Couldn't find Workman in front. Wilkie keeps it alive. To the left side, it is Colin Underwood. Couldn't find Misha in front. Battle of equipment. And North Running gets it, trying to bring it out there is Robert Daly. Over the blue, over the red, over the blue. Daly, eight seconds. Nice play by DT to cut it off. Misha. And now Misha advances further, but that will not have enough. Geez, I can't talk today. That will not have enough time for the end of the period. And that's it. Through one period, DT one, North Reading zero. And awaiting the shots on that from Jill. Shots on goal, only four to one in favor of DT. We'll return for period number two. Welcome back for the second period. ND confirmed, um, thanks to the magic of recording, that, that, um, the assists, assists were to um, Free Love and Lesniak on Underwood's goal. The opening face off for the second period. Robert Daly for the Hornets. Now trying to send it around was Duncan Drolino. Taking it by Nate Free Love, trying to chip it out. Now Penalty on DT, holding on free love. So just 21 seconds in, North Reading's gonna get the power play. <coughs> to the right of Connor Cole. Tommy Workman taking the face off against Robert Daly. Underwood chips it, but not out. And now, cleared by Forstall. And now, coming here to DT. Underwood tapped it ahead to Workman. Workman is it all out. Wait, shoot, save your own. Underwood couldn't get it by. Puck is still loose. Scramble, Underwood in front. Whoa. What a sequence. I think there was at least one shot there. It's not two, maybe two even. Okay, so Workman takes a draw for DT. Can't really see possession. Hornets have it. Number, it's gonna be Max Forrestal. 
Now played ahead to Vincent Pastore. Over the DT Blue, Pastore loses an edge, centering pass to no, to no one. The boards to Golino. Drifts out to Forrestal in his own end. 1.15 to go in the free love penalty. Left there for Daly. Oh, Workman almost forced the turnover. Now he does. Tanya Workman. Pass across. And Underwood couldn't sell the puck down. DT with a strong penalty kill. Workman almost forced another turnover. Now he does. It is going to be Underwood. Working couldn't the shot away as the Hornets play it the other way, but it's kind of fired away by Allen and hammered into the Hornet zone by McDougal. North running has in their own end. Played ahead to Pastore. Now carried ahead, Luke Baker. Coughed up, Matt Lesniak's going to carry it out into the North running zone once more. Lesniak, a shot is blocked from a sharp angle. North Reading takes it back, 18 seconds on the penalty. Strong kill for DT here. And now North Reading takes an icing. To the left of Cooper. Face off, tied up. And North Reading is going to try and bring it out. And they do. But it's cut off at the red line by McDougal. And that will finish off the penalty on Freelove. DT 2 for 2 on the kill tonight. Lesniak further ahead. Taken back by North Reading. Bringing it ahead the other way is Luke Baker into the DT zone before we have a McDougal. And Allen cleared it out. Nolan to Gregorio. Lofted stretch pass. Chase Allen backhands it to Matt, to Matt Lesniak and out. Now Cardillo to Duras right side. Duras fires wide. McDougal to Duras and now Cardillo. Back to Duras left side. To Cardillo in front and out. Handoff score! Drew Duras 2 0 DT. Lesniak. And Cardillo with the assist tentatively as I think it was Lesniak on the left side, not Duras, because Duras is the goal scorer. Either way, DT by two. Cardillo definitely gets an assist, and I think Lesniak gets a secondary. Hornets play it head the other way. Taken back by Forstall. Now Connor Daniel had to Jack Feeney. Feeney over the blue. Feeney across. Daniel couldn't get it back in on Charlie Wilkie. And a save made by Charlie Cooper. Puck by the red line. Feeney sent it one way. Cut off by Wilkie after the Hornets sent it the other way. We got both Wilkies in the ice right now. Joy Wilkie sends it in. North Reading has the puck now. Oh, and they cough it up. Jack Misho and then Crystal Benagakis out of the reach of Colin Underwood. 11.02 to play in the second period. North, North Reading trying to wire it up, but Workman keeps it in. Trying to find Misho. He can't be finds Underwood nonetheless. Colin Underwood. The shot saved by Cooper. With 10, 49 to play in period number two. To the left of Cooper, face off coming to me. Workman versus, I believe, Young. Workman wins the draw. Right point, free level shot through traffic, saved by Cooper. Get a hit along the left wing boards there. I believe it was Underwood with the hit. Can't quite tell for sure. Chance for the Hornets. Right side, a shot saved by Cole. 
Robert Daly with the shot, and now Workman the other way brings it in, and now Underwood. We're gonna get a penalty here. I believe it's on the Hornets. I'm Matt Young. Didn't see the signal from the official. To the right of the movement, to the left of Cooper. Tommy Workman's gonna take the draw for DT. Um, penalty is not up on the board. Um, There we go, it's finally up on the board. And Workman lost the puck. North Redding throws it out. Cole hands it off to Lesniak real quick. Lost the puck, but Freelove's trying to dig it out and he does. Nate Freelove behind his own net starts off. Brings it ahead. He was cut off by Lava. Lesniak sends it the other way. To work them back to Lesniak. Lost it for a second, then it's going to be brought up to Underwood. Out of the reach of Drew Duras. Chipped the other way by Matt Lesniak. Duras hands it off to Underwood. Underwood cuts in. He's defended there by Forrestal. And Forrestal is going to get penalized for that. Left wing side, I can't see who has it. This is Duras, he shoots, and a save by Cooper. Now played ahead to Workman. He got it from someone with left hand, it was Cardello who gave it to him, now in front chance, SCORE! Duras has two! Power play goal on a delayed penalty, and I think Cardello will get the main assist there, but who was the other lefty shot besides Workman, yes it was Cardillo it appears. Because I don't think Freelove was near that play. We'll look at the video either way. 3-0, DT. Power play goal. I tried to go down to the scores booth between periods to talk to the guy and give him a little assistance to the board, but it wasn't there. So. One, two, three, four, five. There was a delayed penalty on North Reading. Unless, yeah, I'm confused now. What are we doing? He deleted the penalty. Round of applause. Very sarcastic, because I've been doing timekeeping for five years now, working with a few different systems. You know what you do? You practice before the game. That's what you do. I do it every year, because even though I'm really skilled with this kind of stuff, 
it's still easy to get rusty. Okay, yeah, so they are sending Max for assault to the box. After all, good, because that was the penalty you, you signaled when the goal was scored. Good, you are in the air for a penalty. That, good, okay. DT back to the power play. After that power play goal, tied up on a working face-off win. Do Ross play it the other way? Try to play that, but it's cut off by the Hornet to bring it ahead in the other direction. Can we sit down, please? Standing in front of the board like that does not improve anyone's vision. I don't care if it's if it's a group of students, you're having a good time, fine. Stand somewhere else. Workman. Spins around the North Reading zone. Pass to the left side. Duras across. Save made by Cooper. Horn is cleared out. Cole hands it off to Freelove. Nate Freelove over the blue and the red and the other blue. Now Nate Freelove. Sticked wide. Off the board, so Cooper gets the whistle. Face one by DT, McDougal to the right side, Wilkie. Now down low. Who has it? I believe that is. Find out in the second, but he gives it to McDougal. And that was Cardillo on the pass. Misha trying to keep it in. At the other end, it was clear that uh, McDougal has it. Lost it off the board to Cardillo. Cardillo shoots! Save made, I believe, by Cooper. May have gone high. Now Joey Wilkie to the left side, Cardillo. Pass across, shot, score! Jacob McDougal! Power play goal from Joey Wilkie and Ben Cardillo, and DT leads 4 0. Face off at center, Hornets bring it ahead. And it's cut off by Chase Allen. Allen off of a skate of a Hornet player to Colby Forsell, who plays at the other, uh, towards the Hornet zone. Kept in by Matt Lewis. Shot fired wide. I can't see what's going on. Forstel, out of the reach of Daniel. Kept alive by Young. Chipped out by Daniel. Sent the other way by Young. And iced. 6.36 to go, and I hope DT scores one or two more. Get, get these fans out of here, because a few of them are starting to get my nerves, and all of them are in nerves because of the way they're standing. To the left of Cooper, face off one by, by Lesniak, but the Hornets take it away. They're bringing it ahead now was Robert Daly. Daly, oh, McDougal and Cardillo both involved in the head. Cardillo crashes into the post, net comes off. Whoa, and we have some unnecessary roughness here.
So Duras goes for the box, and Brennan Rooney goes to the box. Face off one, Workman the free love. And now McDougal. And now offside was Jack Michaud. And DT coaches all mad, including Moonlane as an assistant coach, Mikey Damaris, who is having a word with the official, who is having a word with the official. And yeah, I yeah, I, I think I I don't think it was the greatest call on the planet. It's it, it's it's a real time game. Wait, what? Why is a face off down here? That's bizarre. Anyway, to the right of Connor Cole, face off is gonna be coming between Workman for DT, Daily for the Knights. Workman wins it, it's Underwood. And they're offside. No argument that time. Workman against Daly again. Tied up. Workman wins it and brings it in himself. Tiny Workman left side. A shot is blocked. Hornets going to bring it out now. And. Huge hit by, huge hit by Underwood. Underwood gets wrestled to the ice. This game is getting out of, out of control. Oh my goodness. Yep, bad hit, even worse reaction. Underwood's going up, obviously. The, the, the arm went up immediately, as it should. And they are also sending Christian Leva to the box. Never mind, Leva is not going to the box. Neither of Underwood, I guess we're giving them both misconducts. Out of his game is game misconducts or just 10 minute misconducts by the way there's also 10 minutes left in the period so they're both just being sent straight to the locker rooms we'll figure things out later So the officials are discussing now. So it wouldn't surprise me if Underwood gets an extra penalty here, although it depends on what the signal is, I guess, because because he, oh, probably not, because he, he went down after he was retaliated against for the hit. The hit was being called, so he'd probably only get a penalty for the hit, whereas the guy who dragged him down, which is Lava, um, is going to get a penalty for the retaliation. And 
They are sending Joy Wilkie to serve Underwood's penalty. So, wouldn't surprise if we get a five in game on, on um, Underwood here. And if it's just, if it's just, no, never mind, someone else is in the box for the um, Hornets now at two. Looks like it's 22, Brendan Rooney. Left to Cole, we have one, two, three, four, five guys for GT. One, two, three, four, five guys for, for North Reading. Shot saved by Cole. That was taken by Young. We're now tired of working, rings in, workman. Couple of things, shoot, saved by Cooper. Workman wins the draw, me shot, has the puck chipped to the corner, cut off there by Gazda, cut off the line by McDougal. Jesus, this timekeeper, I guess he didn't start the clock. Face off between Charlie Wilkie and Teddy Sunny. To the right of Connor Cole. What are we talking about now? What could possibly have happened on that play to force the referees to discuss? Was it the was it the fact that you know, it didn't start the clock or what are we doing here? Okay, oh, they're, they're freeing Wilkie. Okay, good. Chai Wilkie wins the draw, looped around by Colby Forstall. And out. Cut off by the Hornets, they shoot it off the glass, not in. Glove down there by Paul Looney. Looney to the goal off of Cooper. Turnover to Jack Feeney. Now it is Charlie Wilkie down low, trying to find Connor Daniel. He couldn't take it away by the Hornets, wired out. And now they're going to bring it ahead either way. They cough it up. And it's cut up by DT. Taken back by Young. Taken away Looney to Charlie Wilkie. And now Connor Daniel brings it out. Taken back by North Reading and sent back in. Looney in a puck battle in the corner. Feeney joins the fray. North Harding has it now. Centering pass to no one. That allows Daniel the chance to clear it out. Chip back in. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's too many men. 
way too many men. And yep, dude, the timers are not running. That is definitely too many men on North running. And then the referees noticed that too. Because what you do as a player when you are told, let's say 410, because that four seconds they'd say at the time. Let's say they tell you 410 your penalty and but you but it, but it's but it's not on the timer. You go at the first whistle after that time. That is my rule one as a timekeeper. Is if it is a penalty where you go after a stoppage, you tell the player that hey, hey, you go. That hey, you go when the clock stops. I don't know what this person thinks he's doing, but this is a hilarious display of, of timekeeping incompetence. And that is probably the most self-inflicted penalty I have seen in a long time. Why is Duros going back to the box? I mean, at least, at least he left after maybe the penalties weren't one, two. Are you kidding me? So, so the guy went on and skated. They had six guys on the ice. The referee's blue whistle and didn't call it? Are you kidding? I'd like to go home now, please. We're winning by four. Just call the game. All right, we have someone with the puck. I can't see who it is. Hornets bring it out. Over the red, over the blue. Duncan Galino. Hits a guy behind the net. Lesniak trying to dig it out for DT. He can't. Hornets have it. Loose in front. Saved by Cole. It's, on. it's in his equipment. Call face off between Young and Workman. And Daniel sends it out, cut off by the Hornets, off the glass and back in. Now it's Nate Free Love. The other way to Jack Misha and then to High Workman. Workman lost an edge, but Daniel sent it down. Connor Daniel cut off by the Hornets briefly, taken back by Free Love though. Center on the boards. 2.36 to go, second period. Tanya Workman, top of the slot, shoots, it's blocked. Misha shot, whipped wide. Now Daniel to McDougal. In front. Now over to Workman. Over to McDougal. Now Connor Daniel. Center score! 5 dt Join the club! Yeah. Yeah. I, I, my eyes just got lost, and so did so did Jillian's. Like, this rink is doing so much to drive me crazy tonight. Cardillo to Do Ross on the right side. Now Cardillo to Do Ross. Up to Wilkie. Join Wilkie. This in front. It's loose. Lesniak poked out. I got to change the score. score. 
All right, it's Lesniak bringing it in. Couldn't get the shot he wanted. 1.30 to go. Forstel to Wilkie, no, no, Cardillo rather, my apologies. Cut off by North Reading, it's Luke Baker. It's tied up with some skates behind the DT net. Forstel to Lesniak and now to Feeney. Hornets have it now, kept in by Young. Went wide a Cole. And stretch pass the other way. Connor Daniels a chance. He's defended well. From Vincent Pastore. Cut off by Troy Wilkie. Kept in by Jacob McDougall. Now Troy Wilkie. The shot. Saved by Cooper. <coughs> now it is McDougall. Left corner. Wrap around chance and the net comes off. 27.2 seconds until complete freedom from having to see DT offense on that side of the rink. Face out to come just outside. Twenty-seven point two to go in the second. Chipped into the, off the ceiling by McDougal. Okay, in my first seven seasons, I never saw that hit off the ceiling. Twice in a week. Of course, less of us have here where, where the supports curve versus at Rockport where it's just hot, at Gloucester, it's just really high. And that was impressive. This was not. 11 seconds. What? Maybe he'd have to scoreboard if it's low enough. All right, one second. Sweet, sweet relief as he comes to the end of the second period. And awaiting our shot on goal count from Jill. Shots are 12 to four in favor of DT through two, so five goals and 12 shots, not bad. We'll see if for the third. Welcome back for the third period. Okay, so after a lot of reviewing and talking to some people, here's what I have for the goals. Second goal is Drew Duras assisted by Ben Cardillo and Matt Lesniak, I'm confident in that. Third goal is Drew Duras from Ben Cardillo and Ty Orkin, confident on that as well. Fourth goal, Jacob McDougall from Ben Cardillo and Joy Wilkie. Pretty, com pretty confident in that. Fifth goal is the worst. I've got Jack Michaud from Connor Daniel. I'm 70% confident in that. Secondary assist, I can't really tell. This time I'm gonna give it to Jacob McDougal, but we will review that later. My new charger is working. Matt Lewis brings it ahead. At least we can see the offensive zone in this size. So if any more goals are scored, that'll work in our favor. Misho kept it in. Now he brings it out himself deliberately to free love out of the reach of Workman.
Wired out by Freelove all the way down. No icing has hit the boards. Picked up by the Hornets. Shot, glove down. To the right of Cooper, face off between Lesniak and Gurlino. Hornets bring it out. Sent down by Tyler Morello. Goes behind Cole. And Duros lays a hit there. Goes into the DT zone. Little play to somebody. Captain, a shot saved by Cole. Pop down. Lesniak. Kept alive for the Hornets, a shot team by Cole. Good number of the Hornets student section is gone. Not surprising with their team down five here in the third. It's for the better. Uh, see, they're being a little out of, out of hand. And this is Chris Moran behind his own net. Wired it, but not out. Kept in by the Hornets, a shot from the point. Saved by Cole. <laughs> Dura sends it out off of a stick of a North Reading player, Tyler Morello. Now, there's a chance here. Nice disruption by Coley Forrestal, though. Picked up, and we're going to get a penalty for a hook. Appears it's going to be on DT. Charlie Wilkie takes his first penalty minutes as a varsity player. So North Reading is going to get a power play here. And okay, we're going to call timeout when, it's, when you're down 5 nothing because we need to delay the inevitable. But all anyone here wants to do probably is go home. Like, only in three minutes. If you need to give your team a breather, I get it, but we've had whistles. off to the right of Cole. Workman can't see the number of the guy who's taking it for North Reading. But he won it. Right point, a shot through traffic, saved by Cole. Max Forrest solves that shot from the right point. And oh, the penalty's not even on the board. Forrestal lips it out. Taken away by Forrestal. Some confusing linguistics right there. I got both of them right. Shot, glove saved by Cole. That was taken by Luke Baker. Face off to the right. Oh. What are we doing? I mean, if you want, I'll do the clock for the rest of the game. I, I, I don't mind. I'm truly better at that than I am at play by play, especially for a tape delayed broadcast. 
but you can't see part of the ice because of the poor design of this venue. Chance in front, save by Cole. Up to the point, fires! And it goes to the left side. Up to the point now that Nolan de Gregorio. Now Young hands out to somebody else and it goes into the mesh. Face off one by Workman, sent around, but it is kept in by Thomas Gazda. Going down on the hit was, was Duncan Galino. And that's gonna be a penalty on DT. And so, attention guys, gals, non-binary pals. Please your best as to whether this penalty will go up on the scoreboard. There's more Skittles? No, it's just someone's someone's chains on someone's bag. Okay, makes a little more sense. All right, take a step down here. Even see it went to the box. In any event, Free Love sends it out, but it's too far ahead for Lesniak to try and get some sort of shorting or chance. So he'll let the Hornets get it instead. This is going to be Vincent Pastori. Off the wall to Matt Young. And whipped out. Cooper is the only goaltender for this one's running team, an eighth grader, in fact. Hands it off, starts to play. Brought forward by Pastori, over the red, over the blue. DT wires it out. This charger is way better than my old portable charger. And my friend Jacqueline, thank you for accidentally breaking my old one with your camera charger, even though it was my idea, and that your charger still works. And I was going to plug it in on the last day before the orange line shut down. Um, she left her camera on all night and her, for the previous couple nights, trained her battery. So I charged her camera for her while she was riding a bus. I went to the Starbucks in Copley for a bit, had a coffee, had some dinner by myself because we had a whole bunch of us train nerds were gathering that night for the last run before the shutdown. And up until today, the last revenue run of the old orange line trains they're temporarily going away. Um, I won't explain on this broadcast why, but they're supposed to return revenue service next week for an increased schedule, but they've had them on reserve because they don't have enough of the new trains to run the normal schedule. They do have enough new trains to run the weekend schedule, which they're running on weekdays because the dispatcher shortage, but today's Saturday. But because of an issue near community college today, they, the line was split in two. And so they used one of the old trains in revenue service today for the first time in three months, and then it went disabled, one stop in, so it was a, it was a whole thing. But back to hockey. Um, no, but back to what I was saying, my ch my other portal charger, which I use for these games, and I charge my laptop, has caught our cold gloves down and popped up shot. Um, the charger busted my, um, my, my big portable charger which was useful for the previous two seasons, but the one I have now is better. So it's charging my laptop way faster. It was actually designed for 140 watt output. Great buy. $100 on Amazon. An anchor, I'll show it to you. Looks like this. It's charged my laptop by 15% since the start of this period. So not bad at all considering that it's a portable charger and we have no power anywhere near us. All right, limited distractions. 21 seconds left in the penalty, and it was on McDougal. Workman. Chip 
to the Miami shot. And now Tommy Workman cuts in. He shoots and he's stopped by Cooper. Cut off by Michaud. Now he finds Charlie Wilkie across the tire work, but he goes down an open ice hit. Sent in by Chase Allen as McDougal is now out of the box. Or was it Panagakis? Because Panagakis skated away. They might have just put in six by action. It's entirely possible that they could have put the wrong number in, given what's happened tonight with the scorekeeper. It's, a, it's not a live broadcast. It, I honestly don't really care at this point. Chip by Workman. Now a drop back. Sent towards the net by Brendan Modeski. Making his first varsity shift. The other way for the Hornets, they send it wide. Shot by Luke Baker. 8 08 to play in the third. Workman. Cut off by Sonny. Backhand and in by Looney the other way for DT. Cut off by the Hornets once more. They bring it either way, it's gonna be John Hardy. He's cut off, now it's Colby Forstel. Now, Connor Daniel right side. Daniel fires! Glove save by Cooper. To the left of Cooper, face off between Charlie Wilkie and uh, that's too late now. Wilkie wants to draw. To Moran, a shot. It's, it's saved by the goaltender, I believe. Joy Wilkie to Chris Moran. He dumps it in. Now, Feeney can't get it, but Joy Wilkie does. Joey Wilkie waits, delays, shoots off the stick of Feeney, then off of the stick of Thomas Gazda of the Hornets. Taken away. By Moran, he sends it in. No icing. Gaza gets it right in his own net. Referee ducks. Daniel couldn't get it, but Moran does. Now from Daniel, stick further. Cut off by Max Forstall. Off of Feeney, kept in by Joey Wilkie. Daniel to Wilkie, sent wide. Both Wilkie still on the ice. This has been a long shift for this unit. Joy Wilkie could not keep it in. And a penalty on DT behind the play. Connor Daniel is going to go off for an elbow. So with 6.44 to go in the game here, DT is going to kill yet another penalty. There we go. He put the penalty up right. Congratulations. To the left of Connor Cole. DT wins a draw. That was Matt Lesniak who won it. Now bring it head either way. It's Ben Cardillo for DT. He's cut off there by Vincent Pastore. Now Max Forrest all carried all the way the other way before being cut off by Connor Daniel. Unclear possession. Hornets have an hour left point. Pass story to the right side. Forrestal. Evades reach. A shot. Score. It is Max Forrestal breaking the shutout for Connor Cole with a power play goal. And North Reading on the board with 6.06 to play. See, they go hard on the whole copying the Bruins thing between this and the running around court national anthem. Sent in by Teddy Sunny. Up 
puck battle. Kept in, or not kept in rather by the Hornets. I thought Diego Guerrero kept alive, but he didn't. Taken away, Jake O'Brien with his first varsity shift sends it in. Now Jack Misha behind the Hornet goal. Turnover, O'Brien drop back, Workman shoots, glove save on the outside. Alfie 120 got in the back briefly. DT forced another turnover. 5.31 to play in the third, and once again, they've not lead the penalty. To the left of Cooper, face off between Lesniak and Galino. Geez, these numbers for North Reading, I'm, I've had our time with them all night. Sometimes you just shouldn't get too fancy with your Georgia numbers. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. All right. Looney lofted it ahead. This is Lesniak. Send one wide. Paul Looney. Down low, cut off. But taken right back, though, by Duras. Shoot! Save by Cooper. Five oh five to play in the third. To the right of Cooper, between Lesniak and Galino. Galino has it, brings it out over the blue, over the red, over the other blue. And Duncan Galino to the left corner behind the DT goal. Now Cardillo's gonna get it, he's gonna bring it out thanks to the play from Matt Lesniak. Now it is Drew Duras. Duras trying to find Lesniak off the skate of a Hornet though, and they chip it out. Wilkie knocks it back in. Enjoy Wilkie to be specific. We're gonna have to get used to that one. Max Forstall brings it out and then sends it in. 4-3 to play. And the North running goal is still not up on the scoreboard. Lesniak. Feeney assists back to Lesniak. Matt Lesniak with some space. Lesniak left side. Lost a bit of timing there. Off of Feeney skates. Now Joy Wilkie. Download to Lesniak. Up to Chris Moran as Lesniak gets hit. Moran back to Lesniak. Off of Feeney's glove. Hornets get it. Clear it down. No icing. And the referee is clapping for some reason. That was bizarre. Ref was just thinking he was trying to signal something, but he looked like he was clapping instead. All right, Feeney brings it in. After the little stick left by Charlie Wilkie. Wilkie to Daniel. Across, couldn't find Feeney on the first try. Right, left point, Charlie, uh, Joy Wilkie rather fires it high at the goal. Now it is Charlie Wilkie. Wilkie shot off the boards. That could be two of for the Hornets if they got there. Partial break, Luke Baker. DD Venters get in front of him and cut it off nicely. That was Chris Moran. 3.03 to go in this one. And it's Sunny. Sent out by Joey Wilkie all the way down for an icing. 2.46 to go. And so, again, I don't know if North Wedding got worse over the offseason or if DT got better or what the situation is here, but if these teams were anywhere near their sitting from last season, this could be a huge head-to-head -head win for DT. As, again, DT is ranked 14th, North Wedding was 10th, and this is a four-goal lead, so even if North Wedding scores again makes it a three-goal game, as long as they don't get the two, then you've hit the maximum margin of victory, which is significant in the MIA power rating system. Galino on the puck, loops around, right corner. Going down, Mc, going down McDougal. And turned over, Jeff Misher turned it over to Nolan DiGregorio. DiGregorio to the right corner, pressure by Allen. Now that drop back, fired by Allen. In front, loose, sent wide by McDougal. Hornets have it now, they're trying to get out, but they turn it over to Matt Lewis. 
Cut off by Gaza for the moment. Taken right back by Workman. Workman pass across, trying to find Lewis in front. He couldn't get the shot away. 153 to go on this one. McDougal hesitates and sends it in on goal. Cooper handles it easily. Off the glass and out by Hornet. And whoops, they turn it over. Cardillo now bringing it in. Workman couldn't get the shot away with two Hornets on him. Tommy Workman, 126 to go. Workman dropped down to Cardillo. Cut off there by Morello. Taken back by Workman, bringing it the other way. Tommy Workman. Now Drew Duras. Oh, oh, a couple of Hornets in front. Not to Cooper. Now bringing it the other way. This is going to be Teddy Sonny with 108 to go in the third. Under a minute to play in this one. Pass story up to Carlson and sent in by SUNY. 51 seconds to go in the third. DT has it now. Panagakis, who got it from my thick free. Panagakis shoots in a save by Cooper. And let's start packing up, because I can. His face off because right back to Cooper for another whistle. <laughs> Matt Lewis loses the draw, but kept alive by Paul Looney. Now Modeski. Taken away by Rooney. Brought further by the Hornets, 20 seconds. Backhander sent high a Cole. 13 seconds to go. And a resounding win for DT here at the Casbos Green in Saugus. 1-0 to start the year with yet another season opening win. For at least the third year in a row, not sure what the streak is exactly. But DT opens the season with a 5-1 win against the North Reading Hornets. No first varsity goals this one, but several first varsity points. One for Cardillo. Shots, this is a low one. 18 to 10 in favor of DT. Even feels a low to me, but that's a new one. So you're right. It very much was weird, Jill. All right. You get the handshakes now. Signing off from Casper's Rankin Sagas. Have a great night.